So I wonder what's inside this box. Well, I guess if you clicked on the video, then you already know what's inside the box. So I'm sure, just like the rest of you, I've been really excited to finally get my hands on Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Uh, I was lucky enough to pre-order the uh, bundle with the GameCube controller and the adapter, so I'm going to do an unboxing to show you guys everything that comes inside the box, uh, what the controller looks like, what the adapter looks like, and then I'll grab one of my old GameCube controllers so I can sort of do like a side-by-side -side and get you guys to really have a feel for if there is a difference between the two controllers or not. So let's take a look at Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. So here we have the highly anticipated Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And this is the GameCube Adapter Bundle. So it's actually a fairly large box, pretty heavy. Uh, on the back here, you can see they have a nice pictures of all the characters. And all the controller options, you got the gamepad, the Wiimote, the nunchuck, the pro controller, the nunchuck, and the classic controller, the GameCube adapter, and of course the GameCube controller. Unfortunately, uh, Best Buy decided not to ship this with uh, bubbling, so I have a nice little uh, damage to the corner here, but what can you do? I'm not really that upset about it. It's just a box after all. Alright, so I'm going to try and get this sticker off here without peeling any of the uh, coloring of the box off. So you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race, and I won the race. So with that out of the way, we can open it up and see what is inside. If I can actually get it open, there we go. Alright, so here we have the game itself, which I will open up in a minute for you guys so you can see what's inside. We have an instruction manual which pretty much just tells you how to use the adapter in your choice of languages. And it looks like there's more paper. Nintendo GameCube controller, okay. More paperwork. All right, so it looks like it was packaged like this might be a little hard to see since it's dark in there, but this was what was sitting on top of that little shelf, which is, of course, the adapter itself. Got the four GameCube ports with Wii U on the top, and your double USB cable, which, of course, can plug into either the front or the rear of your Wii U. Um, it's a nice plastic. It definitely feels sturdy. It doesn't feel uh, cheap or anything like that. So, when you pull this little tab here, out comes your GameCube Smash Controller. Wow. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a new GameCube controller. I think, you know, it, it feels just like the old ones do. Um, the cable is huge. This cable is massive. Wow. Um, the only difference I can tell right off the bat is it, it feels a bit lighter. With your Smash logo, it feels a bit lighter. I'm going to go grab a GameCube controller for you guys so we can compare. All right, so here is an original GameCube controller. You know, I, I take back what I said about it feeling lighter. It, it, it's not noticeable. It's definitely a bit lighter, but it's not noticeable. So as you can see, everything is identical. I'm sure you'd be able to tell that from the promo pictures and all that. Um, it feels, you know, it feels fresh. It feels, it feels different than than a, a used game controller because it's new. But um, if you're looking for that really authentic. You know, GameCube experience, uh, I think this controller will definitely give it to you. There's no doubt in my mind that this is going to function as intended. Uh, so, let's see on the back here. It actually says Nintendo GameCube on the back of the controller. How about that? It's a little bit different, of course. You don't get the GameCube logo. But pretty much identical to the original. 
And of course, what would all the fun stuff like the controller and the adapter be without the game itself? So the back panel of the box here, it looks very similar to the back of the outer box. So it's pretty much the same thing. Inside, I was going to say this is a pretty heavy box. You have the disc itself and a very, very thick manual. Um, you know, long, long gone are the days where you got detailed manuals, and this is something to really um, just remarkable how much they put into this manual. As you can see, there's character moves and information for all the different characters in what appears to be every language under the sun. Still, very, very nice manual. So, if you need me, I'll be playing this until the end of the world, but uh, thanks for checking it out. So as always guys, I want to say thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with what I do, then you should subscribe. I mainly do anime stuff, but every now and then if you get lucky, I'll do a video game related video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It uh, lets me know you guys appreciate what I'm putting up. And if you want to drop a comment down below to talk to me, I always get back to every single commenter on any of my videos. So uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a dialogue going and uh, feel free to do that. But as always guys, I'm Finesi Breezy and thanks for watching this video.